Hey Credit Warriors, welcome to the show. And yes, Citi has filed not one, but two new trademarks related to credit card services. Now, one of these, the Strata Elite, was filed back in September. And we talked about that one in our video on the hottest new credit cards coming out or rumored to come out in 2023. But then on December 14th, they filed another one, the City Strata Premier. And shout out to Proud Money because he seems to be the first person to have discovered this. So in this video, I want to talk about what City might be doing here and give you my predictions. But first of all, I know you guys watch this channel because you like building wealth and getting value. And right now you can still get up to 12 free stocks for signing up and depositing any amount of money with the stock brokerage app Webull. And with the market down right now, it is a great time to get into investing. Buy the dip, as they say. And there may be many more dips in 2023. Webull, of course, is the great commission-free brokerage app that offers better charts and tools than the closest competition. 12 free stocks could be valued up to $30,000. Luck of the draw, what you get. Link is below if you are interested. So we have two new trademarks filed, both with the word strata in them. Now, strata is the plural form of stratum, which means a layer. So in geology, people talk about rock strata, that would be layers of sedimentary rock, it looks like this. But you can also use the word strata to describe layers or levels of society from low class to high class. And I guess that is what City is getting at here. So you'd have the premier level, and then I'm guessing the elite level would be above that. Now City already has a card called the Premier, so I'm guessing that the City Premier would be rebranded as the City Strata Premier, keep its $95 annual fee, and it would be their mid-tier travel credit card. Then you'd have the City Strata Elite coming in with an annual fee of around $500, maybe more, and that would be their premium high-tier travel card, the one that gives you airport lounge access and a lot of other higher level benefits. Now the City Strata Elite presumably would be replacing the City Prestige, which has not been accepting applications since 2021, which has meant that City has not had an offering for new card members as a high level premium card that earns their own points since then. But with competition hotting up from newcomer cards like the Capital One Venture X, which has been very popular, I guess City is seeing that and thinking that they wanna get back into the premium space with a reimagined strategy. Now it looks to me what City could be doing or wanting to do with the Strata cards is kind of similar to what Chase has done with its Sapphire cards, where you have the Sapphire Preferred as the mid-tier card and the Sapphire Reserve as the higher level cards. And then they have some Freedom cards, which are the sort of lower level, no annual fee cards, where you can use those cards to earn some extra points and then transfer them over uh, to the Sapphire cards. So with City, you'd have the Strata Premier and then the Strata Elite above that. And then on the lower end, you would have the Custom Cash and the Double Cash. Both have no annual fee. The Custom Cash kind of competes with the Freedom Flex, okay? 5% categories per month. And the uh, Double Cash would be competing with the Freedom Unlimited. Actually, it's better than the Freedom Unlimited because it earns two points below. Freedom Unlimited is just 1.5. So you can see it potentially could be very similar. Now, whether the Strata cards are gonna be designed in such a way that you could have two of them and they would complement each other, i.e. they earn points in completely different categories, or they're just gonna be a mid-level and a high-level version of the same thing, okay? So the City Premier earns, or the Strata Premier, earns three points per dollar on various categories, and then the uh, Strata Elite would earn four points and maybe five points per dollar on those exact same categories, uh, and you wouldn't be able to have both of them. You just choose whether you want a mid-level or a high-level. That remains to be seen. I mean, with Chase, it's like you have either the Sapphire Preferred or the Sapphire Reserve. They actually have the one Sapphire rule anyway. You can only have one, but it would be no point really because the earning categories are basically the same, almost the same. Uh, Sapphire Preferred is, I know they've introduced a few little different ones recently, but the Sapphire Preferred is basically two points per dollar and the Sapphire Reserve is three points per dollar on the bonus categories. Um, but Amex, they do it completely differently. The gold and the platinum, gold is mid-tier, platinum is high-tier, and they totally complement each other. They earn points on completely different categories. I have both of them and they work very well together. But do remember that companies sometimes trademark things and then never use them. They could just be sitting on potential names for things 
that may not ever evolve into anything. So remember, it's just a rumor, but we will make more videos on it when we get more news. All right, guys, that is the video for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to get up to 12 free stocks for signing up and depositing any amount of money with Webull. Not sure how long that deal is staying around. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.